Hey guys and welcome to July's show and tell video. I know it's really early in the month but I have already spent my limits. <laughs> I also picked up some new shoes, a handbag and a couple of clothing bits which I'm going to start with because they're on my lap and they are quite cool. First of all um, is a t-shirt. I picked these up from Topshop but this is a brand called Tea and Cake. And I don't know if they have an independent website, maybe, or if it's a Topshop exclusive, but it's from the tall section and it says positive vibes only. And I just thought it was really cute. I actually saw um, a blogger wearing it. I think it was from Roses. Um, I will find which one it was and link it in the info box because it was a really cool blog. And um, it's kind of like an off-white colour. It's not a pristine white. It has a little bit of a yellow shift to it. But um, I just thought it was really cool and I'm probably making my colour go really wacky. But I just thought it was really cool and I like the message on it. So yeah, that's that. And I also picked up a pair of jeans. These are the Tally Ultimate Stretch Flare. I got these in a size 10. Um, they're a nice classic blue denim and they don't have any um, sort of distressing or anything on them or a rip and they're not I mean they're not as stretchy as say the Jamie jean the Jamie's are a lot stretchier they're more of like a jegging kind of quality these are a more traditional denim with a bit of flex and um, I got them in a 32 inch leg because I like them long. I like them to drag on the ground, I like them to get all frayed and lived in. Um, whilst these are an ultimate stretch flare, the flare itself is not very big. It's more of a... Um, I mean it is a kind of flare. It's a very... it's like a baby flare. I like bell bottom jeans. I love them. Um, and when it comes to normal jeans, I don't like straight cut. I'm not a big fan. It's either I go for skinny jeans or I go for a flare. I don't like the in-between range. I don't like mom jeans. I don't like boyfriend jeans. I don't like straight legs. I like skinny or flares. So this is kind of like a casual flare if for days when I don't want to wear bell bottoms. So flares are like my bae. I love them. Love them, love them, love them, and I'm so freaking happy the flares are back in style. Whilst I'm on the fashion front, handbag. This handbag, guys, this handbag, I will sit back ever so slightly. I don't know what kind of style you would call this. I'm a bit out of the loop when it comes to fashion accessories, but it's really cool. It has these sort of tab tabs that you sort of pop together and it will make the bag appear smaller for when you haven't got as much stuff in it and it has sort of a, a little snap closure there. It is all pretty much open. It has got a, a zip portion there that I keep like loose things like gum and Pro Plus and stuff in. But I like that it is big enough to hold everything I need but not so big that it's a hassle to carry. I've I've had this problem a lot with handbags, either they're too small for everything I need or so big that I feel obnoxious holding it. Whereas this is the sort of size where it's, it's still small enough to carry on your elbow or you can have it on your shoulder and I love the pattern and the taupe shade. And it's just really, really pretty and it's sort of got, a sw the sides are like a Swedish panelling and it's sort of like a soft leathery feel. I'm pretty sure it's all faux suede and faux, faux leather because it was £22. I don't think you get real suede and real leather for that kind of price. But I'm absolutely in freaking love with it. I think the only thing that would have made this better would be if it had the adaptability to have a long strap then it would be like holy grail status bag but um 
I can fit in here a book, my uniform for work, um, I can fit my makeup bag, I can pretty much fit everything in it. I can fit several books in here actually, which is awesome. If I didn't mention already, this was from New Look and I believe it also comes in white and black and they do have smaller versions of it on longer shots if you fancy a look. Um, I will try and find the link for it and leave it in the info box. Um, and as I said, it was £22, which I think was a freaking bargain and I hope it withstands a long time because I have this, I have bad luck with handbags. like. Canvas totes will last me years. Buy an actual handbag, if it has a zip closure, that's gone within a month. Handles tend to break after a couple of months and then the whole thing's destroyed after three months. So if this lasts more than three months, then I will probably purchase new look handbags in future. Also from new look, I freaking love their shoes. Their shoes are awesome. So I picked up a couple of pairs of heels and I'll smack myself in the face with them. Um, these are just classic pointed court shoes and they're sort of like a full velvety suede-ness and they were only £15. It's quite a low heel. I think it's only like maybe two and a half, three inches. They are a little bit tight but that's probably because they're new. They're not like too crushingly tight, it's just I have wider parts before my toes, like the, the widest part of my toe, widest part of my toe? The widest part of my foot is quite wide. So I just kind of need to break them in and then they will be awesome and good to go. And then I got these slingbacks. I love slingbacks. I just think they're so sexy, especially with tailored trousers. And I'm not entirely sure what the pattern is. I'm not sure if it's faux croc skin or faux snake skin. It's it's just really nice. I will hold it up for you to get a closer look, hopefully. They're just really, really nice. And these were £18. They do have them non-pattern, just a plain matte look and they also come in the full look and they also have them in this sort of material in fuchsia which I really kind of wanted and they also had them in silver which I also kind of wanted <laughs> but when am I gonna wear silver slingbacks? I mean seriously I really want them I've always wanted a pair of silver pointed shoes just always wanted them so that's it for the fashion portion. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. Um, we're currently encountering a citywide storm which might potentially result in thunder and lightning. And I am a little bit scared. But we will continue on with the beauty portion. I did go a little bit over my, um, um, my allowance. Just a little tiny bit because I was stocking up on certain things. First of which being Skin Clear Treatment Wash, the Ultra Rapid Action. This is the minty one that I like. Um, I have the empties right here actually. I had purchased this one last time thinking it was the same thing in a different packaging. No. This, no. These, yes. These are awesome. So I picked up two because they were, by, they were half price so basically I like buy one get one free. Really. Um, I also had a coupon to get 100 points. Most of this was bought because of coupons, but he. <laughs> I also had a coupon for 100 points on Botanics. Uh, I picked up a bottle, well a tube of the Microdermabrasion because again these were like half off. Um, I love this exfoliator so it doesn't hurt really to have a backup of it. I picked up the bright, the cleansing foaming, cleansing foam wash, all bright, and I kind of 
wanted to see what it would be like. I'm looking for a cheaper version of the Clarins gentle foaming cleanser that I like and um, this is not it. I used it this morning. It's nice enough. Um, do not get it next to your eyes. It will sting but it's nice enough. It's kind of like a gel foaming cleanser and um, it really sort of tightens your pores and everything. So I, I like it but it's not the Clarins. No. <laughs> and lastly from Botanics I got a bottle of the Rose Water Toning Spritz. I have purchased multiples of these in the past. I don't tend to use this as a toner, I tend to use it more for um, refreshing my makeup or after I've applied my makeup I will spray it to sort of, I don't know, take the edge off the powder I suppose you could say. At the moment I am using the Vitamin E Refreshing Toning Mist from Superdrug, really really enjoying it and this is basically just the same sort of thing but this has oil in it and this doesn't so yeah. I picked up some hair care bits, the Lnet was on 3 for 2 and I also had a coupon for it. <laughs> So I got the Extra Strength Vary Volume with Pro Keratin Hairspray. I got the gigantic size, the 400ml, and I currently have some of it in my hair at the moment. And I I kind of get it. I get it. The, um, like, it doesn't make my hair look crispy. Like, I can feel it when I touch it. It's not, like, sticky or crunchy or anything, but... I can feel it sort of sitting there holding my hair and it doesn't make my hair look like lacquered or pieced together or anything like some hairsprays do. But I also picked up a couple of the heat styling sprays. This one is a heat protect styling spray for um, the smooth blowout and it's supposed to keep your hair looking blowout like fresh for about three days. And then I also picked up the volume one because I like big hair but I currently have mushroom head because of another product that I'll show you in just a second. But this is the heat styling spray in volume and it's supposed to give you volume for three days. They also have one for straight hair which I'm not into like straight hair but if you are they have one for straight hair. So I'm going to give these guys a go and show and tell you how to go I suppose. So many goes in one sentence. I'm gonna give these a bash and tell you what I think of them, basically. Now onto the product. They give me freaking mushroom hair. Oh, oh lord. What, what is this? Just what is this? I'm stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have big hair, yo. Big, big hair. <laughs> this this hair like I had it up in a bun took the bun out hair was out to here seriously this is boof dry spray and it was um it's based off of the whole Marie Antoinette hair styleness it's basically those volumizing powders mixed with Batiste in a can um Volumizes and texturizes. This is for bigger, thicker looking hair for all hair colors. They also come in colored versions. There's like a blonde one, a brown one, a black one because it does come out white to start with. I, I, no, I'm not gonna put it in. I put it in last night. I, I have enough of it in my hair right now. <laughs> but it's not as bad as. Um, the actual volumizing powders that you get in the little shakers. Thunder! Oh no! Oh no! So as I was saying, this isn't as bad as the volumizing powders that you get in shakers. Um, yes, it is a little bit sticky. Yes, it does feel really thick in your hair but it's not as it doesn't make your hair feel dirty if that makes sense like you can still brush through your hair and this stuff still operates and does its thing um, but it doesn't make your hair feel weighed down 
obviously because of the bottom mass here, but you can't like, I can't feel it in my hair, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't make my hair feel dirty, and um, I like it. I think it's something I might use a lot, so yeah. I think this is um this was what put me over my my budget. Um, it was like six pounds, six seven pounds. And lastly is the makeup portion. You guys know I love cream blush, and these are the new Speedy Blush sticks from Collection. And I believe that they were either three ninety nine or four ninety nine a piece. And um, yeah, I just kind of picked up all three of them. So we have tickled pink, which. I will do a quick swatch review over here. So that is tickled pink. This is cheeky, which is a beautiful summery shade. And then we have pinch me, which is a lovely, lovely berry tone. Originally, I was drawn to it by the tickled pink shade. It is a beautiful rosy pink. It's it reminds me a lot of Boho Chic from NYX. Um, so that makes me super happy. But the other two shades I'm really intrigued by. Like I like a good coral blush, but this berry shade, I am interested to see what I can do with that. So they will appear in future videos most likely. I have got a blog post coming really really soon um, sort of talking about the colours and how they apply and everything so yeah. And then I have three products from the Instant Glow range by Seventeen which is Boots own brand cosmetics. I had a coupon. Oh. Damn coupons! Damn coupons! <laughs> but I was really intrigued buy the products. It was like a pound off of any eye product, face product or lip product and I didn't want any of the eye stuff, didn't want any of the lip stuff and the only face product I really like of theirs is um, well they stopped making the blushes and um, I like their primer but I have one. It's already in use. I like their, their illuminator which I have one. It's already in use. I didn't need any powder. And then I kind of came across their summer section and found the bronzer, which is actually a matte bronzer, which I was really impressed at. It is quite a light, like it's called light bronze, but it is a fairly pale bronze. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, Body Shop Honey Bronzer, so I was really happy with that. Then we have a cream bronzer, which I kind of wanted to get just for review purposes. I know I shouldn't do stuff like that, but I kind of wanted to see if this was a cheaper alternative to the Chanel Bronze Universal, and if it is, then you know, holla. Because each of these are under £5. And again, I've got a post coming really soon with all of these products. So that is the bronzer down at the bottom there. I'm actually going to put this in a weekly makeup basket just so I can road test it thoroughly. But it's a really nice light bronzer. It's you get quite a lot in here. Um like when you put it in, when you press into it, you can't just push right down to the bottom. It's a fairly solid cream. It's very lightweight, it blends really easily and I'm, so far I'm really impressed um, this first impressions. I still need to try it on the skin first but so far um, I'm loving it. And then we have the Shimmer Brick in Gold Bronze. It also comes in Pink Bronze but I just kind of picked up this one because I like Golden. and. Um, Two quick swatches of that. The thing I like about these shimmer bricks is that um, you can use them individually like that. I think they make beautiful eyeshadows. And then you just do a quick swirly swatch and then you know depending on which bit you focus on you can get a nice 
bronzy thing going on as well. So I'm super excited to play with these guys. So that's everything that I purchased this month. As always, I'm super happy with everything that I've purchased. I'm particularly excited about the speedy blushes and the boof, the boof hairspray. I mean, this stuff is like amazing. Um, I might do a demo video on it if you guys want it, or I might just do a blog post. Um, but I'm going to stop filming now because the weather is actually scaring me. I don't like being this close to a window when there's thunder and lightning. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.